right, we are going to continue on our big idea describing shapes and objects can help us to understand the world and solve problems. Our concept today is rotations or turns. That's what we're focusing on. When a shape turns about a point, it is rotated um, or turned from one position to another. This movement is called a rotation or a turn. When we draw the shape in its new position, we draw a rotation image of the shape. After one complete turn, the shape is back where it started from. A clock is a really helpful tool to use when we're considering um, rotations. So for example, here we can see that going from the 12 to the 3 has been a quarter of a turn or a quarter rotation and we would describe this rotation as clockwise, going in the direction of the clock. We also often have rotations that are half a turn. From 12 to 6 would be half a circle, that is a half turn. We can also have a three-quarter turn. From 12 to 9 is three-quarters of a complete circle, so a three-quarter turn. All right, let's take a look at a few more rotations. A shape, as I mentioned before, can be rotated clockwise in the direction that a clock turns, but it can also be counterclockwise. That is the opposite direction of a clock turns. So in this case, this would be sort of like a 12 turning to about a 9 position, and it's going counterclockwise. This would be a quarter turn counterclockwise. All right, when you are looking at shapes to describe their rotation, you want to pick one line and find that same line on the image and draw your half circle or quarter circle or three quarter circle or whatever the case may be um, to that line. And then you can see, is this in fact a quarter of a circle? Is it a half a circle? Is it a three quarter? What's going on there? Um, same thing here. We've chosen this line and that same line on the image and we can see that it's making a quarter turn counterclockwise about vertex B. V, v, sorry. V is our rotation point. That is the point that we are turning around, our point of rotation. This shape here uh, we can look at as well. Um, here we're going to pick a line. I'm going to pick this line. Um, and I'm going to pick that line on my image again, and I'm going to draw my circle. And I can see that this is again about a quarter of an entire circle. So this would be a quarter turn, and it's moving counterclockwise. So a quarter turn counterclockwise around point A. Point A is our rotation point. And if I were to look at this one, Again, I'm going to choose one side. I'm going to look at that same side on my image. I'm going to travel from that shape to the image line. And again, I can see this is about a quarter turn. Um, now I'm turning it still counterclockwise and it's about point B. Sorry, this one is clockwise. And this one is counterclockwise because it's traveling backwards. So a rotation, when you describe it, you describe the direction of the turn. Is it counterclockwise or is it clockwise? The fraction of the turn, is it a quarter, is it a half, is it a three-quarter? And the point of rotation, so the point that it rotated around. Now, a turn can be looked at two ways. So if you looked at this turn from this line to this line, um, we can say that this is a quarter turn clockwise. If we were comparing it the other way, from the image to the shape, we can also see that this is a three-quarter turn um, clockwise, as opposed to a quarter turn counterclockwise. So when you're discussing clockwise and counterclockwise, any rotation can be described as both, just flipping your um, point of view, I suppose. When we look at a rotation, the shape and its image have different orientations. The shape and its image usually face different ways. Um, for it to be a complete rotation, then they would face the same way, but at that point that would probably be more a slide than anything. Um, which of these pictures do you think shows a rotation? And if it shows a rotation, please describe that rotation. 
press pause and try that now. All right, let's take a look at our first shape, shape A here. Well, they are in a different, they're facing different ways. Um, yes, this is a rotation. This is, we're going to assume our original because our arrow is going to here. Um, my problem with the way they've drawn their arrow is that it's not clear um, what uh, line to what line we're going to here. So I'm going to pick this line and I'm going to go to that same line and then I can see, yes, it is a three-quarter turn. Um, I'm traveling opposite direction of the clock, so counterclockwise, three-quarter turn counterclockwise. And my point doesn't have a name, so I mean, I could label it with a letter. I could say about point A. If I look at my next shape, they are facing in opposite directions. Um, but they are directly opposite from each other. So this one wouldn't be a rotation, it would be a reflection or a flip. When we look at this one, they're pointing in other, other directions. Um, this one would be a turn. Our turning point would be right there. We could label that B. Uh, I would pick that same line and see they've done the same line on both sides and that would be a half turn. Um, they've shown this as our original image, so then it would be a half turn um, clockwise around rotation point B as I've labeled it. You may have labeled it differently. Um, and this one they are facing the same direction. This would be a slide, not a rotation, a translation, not a rotation. Again, tracing paper is a really good strategy to use um, or a tool to use for a strategy to rotate your shape. You would place the tracing paper onto your um, shape. You would trace it. You would put your pencil on the point, that is the turning point, P, and then you would actually take your paper and rotate it that quarter of a turn to see where your new image would be and we'll watch a video about that in a moment. Sometimes we can visualize it um, but that can also be difficult. Um, but we can use visualization to predict the position of the image formed when we rotate it. Notice here the pole rotates but the length does not change. So that distance from that rotation point is the same here. We have a three distance, uh, three square distance from the rotation point and that same distance is here as well. So we always have to make sure that we are the same distance when we look at our rotation point. All right, now we're going to do a little bit of practice. Uh, take a moment to look at these shapes. Tell me which one shows a turn and if possible, describe it. All right. Um, we're doing a little bit of extra practice here because turns can be tricky. Uh, here we have these shapes facing opposite directions and they have a flip line here so it wouldn't be a rotation although it could be a rotation if we look carefully we could make our rotation point right in the center there and we could do a half of a rotation, half a turn there. Um, when we do see a flip line though we do know that it is a flip but this shape is also or this transformation is also possible through a um, translation, sorry, a rotation. This one, they are facing opposite directions. Um, could definitely be a rotation. Oops. We could go from this line to this line, so it would be a quarter turn. Um, in this case, I've chosen this as my original image, so it would be a quarter turn counter clockwise. Here we have these two shapes, they're facing the same direction, so it is not possible for that to be rotation. Um, that has to be a translation or a slide. With this one, uh, it can be a rotation, and our rotation point would be right in the middle there. Pick one line, choose the same line on that shape, this would be a half a turn. Um, and in this case, I've chosen this is my original, this is my image, so it's a half a turn counterclockwise around our rotation point, which is right in the center between the two shapes. All right, now we're going to practice with uh, tissue paper. You're going to try it, and then you'll watch a video uh, showing you how to do it in case you had some trouble. 
uh, we're going to try just the rotation of this hexagon shape C and we're going to rotate it 180 degrees which is the same as a half turn clockwise around point 0.84. Now point 0.84 means 8 over and 4 up so this is our rotation point here. It's not directly on the shape. Sometimes it's on the shape, sometimes it's off the edge of the shape. So uh, make sure when you're plotting your shape or putting your shape on your grid paper it's 9 over and 3 up, 10 over and 3 up and then from there you should be able to draw your 3 uh, square L shape. Um, trace it with tissue paper, put your pencil down over top of the tissue paper and then actually take that tissue paper and make that half turn. Press pause and try it now. Alright, at this point we're going to watch a video um, of how to use tissue paper to do the rotation now that you've tried it and see how yours compared to uh, the process that was used here. All right, now we're going to do our rotation or our turn. It asks us, asks us to turn it around point 0.84. So remembering what we know about ordered pairs, 8 over and 4 up. That means this right here is our rotation point or our turning point. And we're going to use tissue paper again. Um, works quite well in all situations when you are working with slides, flips and turns or reflections, rotations and translations. So again I'm going to trace my shape. I'm actually also going to dot my turning point. Now when we are doing an 180 degree turn if we look at a line we know to turn 180 degrees would mean that we have to turn a half of a circle. So we're actually going to do a half turn, 180 degrees turn is a half turn. And because it is clockwise, we have to go the direction of the clock. So right now on my pretend clock in my head, my shape is at 3. I'm going to turn it now so that it is at 9 because that would be about a half a turn. So I'm going to take my tissue paper and turn it. I'm going to loosely hold my pencil on the turning point so that my tissue paper doesn't move. It's a quarter of a turn and a half a turn. And now I can see where my shape is supposed to be. Um, so I'm going to lift my tissue paper again. And I can see that my line that is two squares long should be placed right here. I'm going to put my tissue paper back down just to confirm. Yep, that is where it's supposed to be. And from that I should be able to draw the rest of it. Two lines long there one line high here and then in in my L kind of a shape and there is my rotated image. Alright so in case you had any troubles um, that shows you what you should have um, done. If you have any questions as you're trying to do that make sure that you ask. Alright at this point you're moving on to your concept practice drawing and describing rotations or turns. Uh, page 308-309, numbers 1, 2, and 3, and page 312 and 313, numbers 1, 2, and 3. You're watching for where the rotation per turn point is. Sometimes it will be right on the shape and sometimes it will be off of the shape. Uh, so when you're, it's off of the shape, make sure you're watching that you're the correct distance um, from that point. And here's an exit slip um, after you have taken a look at and uh, we've discussed and corrected your concept practice. Uh, you can work on this exit slip for reflections and rotations. Make sure you hand it in when you are finished. You should be able to complete this on your grid paper.